It's certainly possible, yes. Uh, that's something that always needs to be considered by the initial treating or identifying physician or surgeon who identifies the tumor. Because cancers and most of our skin cancers are contiguously growing or grow like extensions, uh, as, like a root system, if an attempt is made to try to cut the cancer out and it's unsuccessful, in theory, the root system itself has been partially disrupted. It's no longer connected. And if the site is large and the surgeons had to do a reconstruction, like transfer in a flap, like many of the plastic surgeons do with excellent skill, they can make the site look wonderful, but it can certainly conceal or hide focal areas of tumor roots that are no longer connected directly to that surgical scar line. If that happens, the success rate on removing the cancer subsequent to that, even if micrographic surgery is used, may be much lower. And the reason that is, is if you're working around the surgeon's original scar site, yet the tumor roots that originally existed were way away from that site because they've shifted the tissue so far for the rebuilding or reconstructive process, it's highly possible that you're not going to be able to accurately identify that a small focal island of cancer exists somewhere else. Now, as you can imagine, the more surgical treatments that are conducted on a site, the more number or the greater number of times the cancer's been disrupted and tissue's been shifted. And as a result of that, typically the lower the cure rate, even with micrographic surgery.